This is how to install, configure and use all Ledger features, everything you need to know to stay safe. Ledger is an external wallet, the so-called Hardwell wallet, which increases the security of cryptocurrency storage. Every time we want to send funds from our external wallet, we must physically connect it to the computer, enter the PIN, confirm and only then the transaction is completed. There is no other way to do it. So at the moment, this type of solutions are considered the safest available. This will be a complete guide. I will show you how to install the software, configure Ledger, how to send and receive transfers, what is important and what to pay attention to, and how to connect Ledger to the MetaMask wallet. The first important thing is to order a wallet, which should come only from an official manufacturer. Never order second-hand exhibition equipment or from an unknown source. On the manufacturer's website, there is a list of fraudsters who have been thwarted, including cases where wallets were faked in order to deceive people later on. Invest in your safe future and order equipment directly from the manufacturer. You will find a safe link under this video. I already have my wallet prepared for installation, so I will now go to the Ledger Live tab and download the software. After a few minutes of downloading, I install the files and run the program. We can install it with any type of operating system. The whole process is very simple. In the next part, I choose Get Started. Next, we select the type of ledger we ordered from the available models. I choose Ledger Nano S because I have exactly this one in my hand. Below, you will find recovery functions that may be useful to you in the future when installing software on a new computer. Right now, we will focus on installing a completely new device. I choose set up a new Nano S, where we are redirected to the instructions where the most important information appears. While reading, I click continue and at the end, let's do this. Now we need to connect our device to the USB port to start the configuration. After starting, I navigate the screen by switching right and left to find the Configure New Device function. When it's done on the computer screen, I click Next. Now on the computer screen, we are asked to confirm that we are aware of the privacy rules. Then we set the pin on the device, which consists of 4 to 8 characters. Remember that if you lose your PIN or enter it incorrectly, you will be unable to access your funds, so it's important to memorize it. Next, we need to confirm the same code to make sure we entered it correctly. Then we can go back to the computer screen and click Next Step. I confirm the summary of the PIN code information. Then we move on to determining the seed phrase, which is a very important stage. On the screen, I confirm that I know the rules and click on the recovery phrase option. During this step, 24 words, also known as the seed phrase, will appear on the device screen. It is crucial to write down these words. If you lose the phrase visible on the screen, you will never regain access to your wallet. This phrase will be needed to log into your account on the new device, either after resetting the device or when you forget your login pin. If you lose the seed phrase, you lose your money forever. Don't save it on your computer because your computer may crash. Do it properly and write down the seed on a piece of paper. Now you see my security key. It means the wallet I create will never be secure again. With this key, anyone in the world can open my wallet at any time. And this is why you need to take proper care of your safety. I'll speed up the video to save some time. In the next step, we are asked to verify our password. This is to check if you wrote everything down correctly. You have to type each word one by one to make sure everything is okay. I will speed up the video again to save your time. After completing that step, click Next and get started. You'll then see a summary of the security key information I mentioned earlier. I'm skipping the quiz, but you can do it if you want. Now, the Ledger Live application will connect to our device and verify its authenticity. 
to allow the manager connection I have to click both buttons at the same time. In your case, it will depend on the model you bought. Finally, we get to the main application desktop and our device is properly configured. We can start using it. First, we will start by adding our first deposit account and we will start with Bitcoin. I click Add Account in the middle of the screen. I select the cryptocurrency I want to add to the list supported by my device. The list is quite extensive. The only limiting factor is the device model, as some cryptocurrencies are not supported by basic models. I select Bitcoin and continue. I confirm using the device by clicking two buttons at the same time. The device synchronizes with the application. It takes a minute, sometimes two. When everything is ready, press Add Account and Done. From now on, you will be able to view the status of your finances in the Portfolio tab for your accounts. If you go to Accounts, you will see your Bitcoin wallet. By clicking on it and Receive, you can see your deposit address. At the same time, the address will be displayed on your ledger device. This is to verify security and check if everything is OK. I confirm using the device by clicking two buttons at the same time. I will go to the Accounts tab to install another account. This time, it will be Ethereum. The whole process is exactly the same every time. After installation, we can see both our accounts on the list. In the Portfolio tab, you will find options like Buy and Sell that allow you to purchase cryptocurrencies directly through Ledger, bypassing the need to use other exchanges or transfer funds. You can also exchange funds and even stake them. The principle is simple. Everything is associated with a commission charged for each operation, which is usually slightly higher than on a regular stock exchange. Now I will show you how to send funds. For this purpose, I will change Ledger to another one where I already have funds prepared. I select Send and paste the recipient's address. In the next window, I enter the amount and set the transfer priority to regular, fast or cheaper but slower. Let's say we want to send one and a half dollar in normal mode. If everything is correct in the summary, click Continue, where the ledger will ask us to verify the transfer on the device screen. You should check whether the information visible on the computer screen coincides with that on the ledger screen. If so, confirm on the device to send the transfer. In my case, I rejected the transfer because I don't want to implement it. Returning to receiving transfers, there is no difficulty here. You can simply use the deposit address that we checked earlier. The device does not have to be connected to the computer to receive the transfer. One last thing, connecting the ledger with the MetaMask wallet. Some of you may want to additionally secure your funds on MetaMask using an external wallet. To do this, click on Accounts. Moments later, add Hardware Wallet, where you can choose one of several available ones. We choose Ledger. There is one important thing to establish a connection you need to run the Ethereum application on the external device. I allow the connection. After waiting for a while, a list of addresses saved on our device appears. We can export these addresses as an account to MetaMask. I choose one of them and click Unlock. From now on, you can select the Ledger wallet from the list of MetaMask profiles. But remember, if you want to make any transfers from this account, you will first have to connect your external device. Without it, you won't be able to do anything. That's practically all I wanted to tell you in this material. If you are looking for a complete cryptocurrency training, check out my crypto guide on Udemy. The link is below this video. If you like my material, please leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. Good luck.